Hey everybody, so for today's video I wanted to check out a visualization I made a little bit ago um, that tries to visualize the commuter data for the city that I happen to live in, uh, the city of Chicago. So um, before I start, this data is from the Chicago Metropolitan Agency for Planning, or CMAP. Uh, if you want to learn more about them and what they do, you can check them out at cmap.org illinois.gov. Uh, generally, they're a government agency that's responsible for gathering up information to help both the city of Chicago and the state of Illinois make decisions about where uh, public transit should go, etc. Stuff like that. Cool. So with that out of the way, let's quickly uh, describe what this visualization is doing. So Quickly looking at it, you can see that there are two features. One are these um, labels here that represent each of Chicago's neighborhoods. The second feature are these moving black dots. And so each one of these black dots represents 50 daily commuters. So for every dot you see going around on the screen right now, that equals 50 humans, probably humans, uh, going between these various neighborhoods. Cool. And then the other thing is if you hover over one of them, you can sort of focus in on that neighborhood and then it will show you uh, the same dots, except now they're colored. So green is incoming uh, commuters and red is outgoing commuters. So I'll put the link to this visualization in the description below if you'd like to check it out. Uh, I, I wanted to go through some of the general patterns I've seen here. Uh, so I guess the first one is sort of what I would call like the working neighborhoods, the places where people tend to work. Uh, you, so if you know Chicago, you can probably predict the biggest example of this is gonna be the loop, right? Almost all, all of the CTA lines go to the loop um, the, it's a big place with all the skyscrapers, lots of people work there, so it makes a lot of sense that this one has a ton of green flying into it. Not a ton of people live there, uh, I imagine the real estate is just so expensive that it's mostly companies, although there are some people living there. You can see the, uh, red dots representing commuters leaving the loop. It looks like they pretty much exclusively go to the near west side, near north side, and Hyde Park. Hyde Park is University of Chicago. I'm guessing that's what that is. Um, wouldn't make a ton of sense to sort of live in the loop and then work in a random Chicago neighborhood. Uh, it's really interesting that not only does that intuitively sort of make sense, but apparently the data shows that as well. Um, and I'm guessing besides the people that I presume are going to work at the University of Chicago, uh, these people probably work right over the river. Uh, so a river divides these two areas. And the red dots, I'm guessing, are just crossing over that river. Very, very close. You wouldn't even know that you switched neighborhoods. Cool. So I guess the opposite of those uh, are going to be like the commuter neighborhoods. So these are going to have a lot of people flowing out uh, instead of flowing in. So I found a few examples of these. Uh, the first of which, where is it? Portage Park? Okay. So I don't actually know a ton about this area. Uh, so I mostly I li ha live and have lived in this part of Chicago. So I'm not actually sure what's here. But as you can see from the dots, it is, I can assume, a residential area because there's a lot of people leaving and not a ton of people coming in. So it's interesting that even if you don't sort of know Chicago, you can look at this sort of data and guess uh, generally what's going on there. Um, oh, uh, I forgot. In the last category of places where there's a lot of inbound commuters, there is sort of a notable exception. So if you don't know, O'Hare is Chicago's major international airport. So if we look at it here, it actually looks very similar uh, in terms of the pattern. Uh, there's a lot less dots, but 
we have a very similar thing as we see in the central neighborhoods where there's people flowing in. And that's going to be because there's a big airport there, there's lots of employers, so it's kind of like a smaller version, but the same pattern, which I found interesting. But uh, back to the commuter neighborhoods, there are a few more examples that seemed really good to what I found. Uh, Brighton Park down here, down on the south side, very similar, right? Uh, this must be a pretty heavy residential area down on the south side. And then I think the last one is the South Shore, which again, not a, not a neighborhood I'm familiar with, but it looks like it's getting pretty close to Indiana over here. Uh, lots of people flowing out in all sorts of directions. Cool. So, got a lot neighborhoods with a lot of people g going in, a lot of people going out. Uh, interestingly, there are a few neighborhoods where there's sort of an interesting pattern going on. So, these are kind of like swap neighborhoods where, with surprising uh, accuracy, they tend to have people going out certain places and people coming in from certain places. So I think the most prominent one is Lincoln Park. So they seem to have commuters coming in from uh, Lakeview, Logan Square, and West Town. Uh, and then a huge outflows to the loop near North Side, near West Side. Uh, I don't, I'm guessing, I don't want to make too many assumptions here, but Lincoln Park is sort of a super built up uh, residential area. So I imagine there are offices and stuff there, which I'm guessing explains the inflow. Uh, there's definitely a lot of sort of uh, retail and stuff like that. So that probably accounts for a lot of commuters. And then it's a pretty expensive place to live. Uh, and on average, I imagine most people who live there work in the loop. So interestingly, it looks like every day Lincoln Park essentially does a population swap <laughs> where everyone commutes to the south and then people from sort of nearby neighborhoods flow in. Uh, it's just, this one's interesting to me because there are so few connections and it looks like there's some uh, exchange with the near north side, but for uh, the most part, there's places that people commute from and pe places that people commute to and there's not too much overlap between the two. Cool. So some other examples, uh, you see a similar pattern, a lot less people, but a very similar pattern with North Center. Uh, that's interesting. And then further south, I believe, where is it? Armor Square has, again, even less uh, intense, but that same kind of pattern where people leave and then people come in from neighborhoods and there isn't much cross chatter between those two groups. Cool. So those are the patterns I saw. Uh, if you'd like, check this out yourself. Let me know in the comments any patterns you saw or sort of interesting things that I haven't seen. Uh, awesome. See you guys later.